Holding on to hatred will be worse for you in the long term. Seek forgiveness in your heart for the wrongdoings of others and let go of that stored up anger. Empathy helps with this. Understand that we are all human and sometimes we accidentally or intentionally hurt others. And in the case of someone intentionally trying to hurt you, understand that we've all let our emotions control us. We've all had those moments where we have done things that we have regretted because we felt a certain way in that moment. So to not forgive others for their wrongdoings, yet to expect them to forgive us for our wrongdoings is hypocritical and ultimately unfair. But to always forgive others and to never really expect forgiveness for your own wrongdoings, that is a very beautiful thing because we are essentially putting ourselves in a state where we are humble, where we are, yeah, like we're, like we're humble, right? And being humble is a very great thing because that lets us learn, that lets us grow. Think about how much pride the flowers in a garden have. Probably none at all, but they're the ones that grow. So, ultimately, to forgive others is a core tenant of having a kind heart, which is something that we all need to seek out. Because having an unkind heart, there's no good that comes from that. We're just putting out negative energy into the world and to ourselves. So, I just want to end this off by saying the most important part of learning how to forgive is learning how to forgive yourself. Because we oftentimes, we make mistakes that only affect us negatively. And we oftentimes hold on to that. We hold on to that negativity and we tend to fall into these spirals of self-loathing. But by learning how to forgive others, we learn how to forgive ourselves and we learn how to have empathy for us. And that is a very important thing when we are going through life. That's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching. Keep running when no one else is.